It's 9.45 on the morning of May 8th, and an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy says he sees something suspicious. A black Nissan Versa is circling in a Pontiac neighborhood. The driver is 27-year-old Gloriana Moore. I wasn't familiar with the Pontiac area or the complex or anything like that. The deputy would later say that Gloriana was driving in an area known for a high level of narcotics and violent crime. She works for DoorDash. And when she was done dropping off her second order of the morning, the deputy kept following her for six blocks before turning on his siren. He would later say she was speeding. I was nervous because in the back of my mind, I knew something wasn't right because of how he was following me. She pulled over almost immediately, and what should have been a routine traffic stop became anything but. What's up, man? Within seconds, the deputy reaches his hands into her car, opens the door, and tries to pull Gloriana out. She's still buckled in, but he keeps pulling. I'm scared. Um, I'm in shock. I can't believe that he's actually pulling me out of a vehicle with no knowledge of why. According to the sheriff's office, the deputy pulled her out of the car for his own safety because Gloriana, quote, immediately recoiled from the officer and reached her hands into the center console. After about two minutes, three other deputies arrived to help with the arrest. Gloriana is pulled out, cuffed, and put in the back of a squad car. Then, a team of deputies spend the next nine minutes searching her vehicle. Remember, she was pulled over for speeding. When they're done, deputies say they found drugs in her car. A field test said it was crack cocaine. Those drugs they found in her car weren't drugs at all. The county's crime lab ran a second test of the substance they found. It tested negative. The drug charge is now being dismissed three months after Gloriana was arrested. All right, does this look like a profiling Donald Schweitzer, you know, it wasn't crack cocaine. Um, and, and, and now there are allegations from her attorney that this was a case of profiling. Um, why do you think she was stopped initially? Well, you know, I agree that this was proactive policing. And what I saw was a proactive cop patrolling a neighborhood, looking for crime, doing what we want our police officers to do. It's this, the, the typical guy working the beat, looking for people and pulling them over when they look suspicious. I have no problem with the stop at all. But like Randy said, is, is when he approaches the a car and he starts addressing the person in the car, what he really should have done was maybe exercise a lot more patience. Uh, it only took two minutes for the backup officers to get there, according to this report. And had he waited for the backup officers, I'm sure that in time they could have gotten this person out of the car and that done what they had to do. The fact that there wasn't uh, cocaine found in the car is not relevant to this story. The story is, is whether or not this officer did what he should have done when he started putting his hands in the car and, and pulling her out. I think that, you know, he didn't show patience. And I agree that this woman, like a lot of people we're seeing these days, thinks that you can tell officers, I'm not going to give you my license. You know, I'm not going to tell you my name. Well, it doesn't work that way. In our society, both sides have to act civil and do what's right.